Oh, welcome in. Uh, Jeff, I just want to let you know there's a speed trap. Uh, no. Yeah, I, it's funny you bring that up. Uh, I'm coming in here in part as a favor to Dan Hicken. <laughs> it was poor form. In a second as a favor to you, um, the After the Drill Nation, just in case once in a blue moon you're tuning in to catch me on After the Drill. This will be my last After the Drill appearance after some of the shenanigans that have taken place in here. He's making this personal gripe protest. session you know, between these two where they come in here and spend 10 minutes after the show every day harassing and haranguing me and leaving me out to dry. I just, I don't, I don't want to play that game. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to come in here and then tell you all the stupid, stinky things that Dan did today. I just, you know, it's hard enough life. You know what I mean? So it's a grind without, with the, these, these faux friends that I've made here at 1010 through the years. Double F's. And accent on faux. Fake friends. Fake as hell. <laughs> faker and <laughs> faker and hell. Dress the same. Did you purposely dress the same? No. Who? Me and uh, B. It's than you and me. Yeah, no, we are so not dressed not anything alike. This is short sleeve. His is long sleeve. Mine is tan. This apparel. is white. Exactly. He's got shorts. I do. Look at I these. got jeans. Look at these. You know. By the way, if you go to I got else, hair. Look at He's got none. I have very little hair. I, uh, by the way, have decided, and I'm not absolutely positive because it's not the kind of thing that you literally keep track of. I may right now. Be the longest I've ever been in my life since I was a lad, and my parents took me to the barber shop for the first time because that's what they were then barber shops. Sure, right. I may you right now. The thing outside. Yeah, <laughs> the, the uh, candy cane poles. Yes. I may. I may be the longest in between haircuts wow. in my entire life right now. It doesn't show. No, it doesn't grow real fast. I don't like. Like to me, it feels like it's down to my shoulders and up right. to here. But then I see it on here, and it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't, it's not like it's long, uh, but it's been probably, I don't know, probably more than two months. Speaking of uh, haircuts, uh huh. I it's long. Feeling, though, you see that? Feeling industrious you know that there? over it's the weekend. A lot of hair. I used to have uh, it like tied tight. The petite was getting very shaggy. Uh huh. And uh, feeling industrious over the weekend, uh, I went ahead and gave him a haircut. I don't understand any parents that take their kids to get their hair cut. Yeah. I, we cut our kids' hair forever. Yeah. Um, I got out the clippers. Who's that? Ann? No, I'm not angry at all. No. Thank you, though. No. Is it Unity or Ann? Which is her first name? It's both. Unity Ann. Unity Ann? Is yes. Unity a word that I don't know, or is that a name? I think it's a name. Okay. Unity! No, I'm not angry at all. That's no. these guys lying to you. That's what I'm talking about. They sat here yesterday and purported some lie. You know what these two did yesterday, ladies and gentlemen? Somebody, one of you, esteemed Googans, messaged in that there was a speed trap right on my way home, right at, 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 at the... This is poor. Right at the doorstep <laughs> of where I live, right on the Jointon Creek Bridge, Yeah. okay? It's poor. And these two a-holes, <laughs> FFs, faux friends... Do either one of them just text me? Hey, by the way, ha ha, there's a speed trap on your way. No! Not only do they not tell me, but they make a point of why they're not telling me. Uh, These I are my make friends! I did that I wasn't going to tell you, but I, like in my head, I'm like, okay, I'll text Jeff after the thing. And then I just completely Now, this is a lie! Don't listen to this! I wasn't going to leave you hanging. So, no, Unity. I'm, not, I'm not angry. I'm, it was I'm, poor. I'm, you know, I'm self preservation mode. I'll own right that. Now. That was poor on our part. Self -pres I'm self preserving. Yeah. I'll own that. That was bad on our part. Correct. That was a poor... Uh, you're right. Okay, you're right. Right on the friendship ometer. Yeah, it was that terrible. That was bad. That was awful. That was poor. That's what you would do to, like, hack her or somebody. I mean... Oh, I would, yeah. Right? I would uh, almost go to the point to, like, yeah, somehow try to get hacker pulled over, if there was a way. I'm reading the messages. Sometimes when we stare, like... B-Day boy. Uh, who's the birthday boy? Jeff did not get a ticket. I don't know. No, I didn't get a ticket. I went home a different way, and yeah. thank you, though. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Somebody. Somebody cares. Maybe you were a beautiful person who messaged it in. I, I only know. know because I have real friends Spons who happened to see the After the Drill feed, and they called me and let me know. So what I was going to do, what I planned to do yesterday, unbeknownst to these two, is I was going to call Beef at about 1 o'clock, but I forgot and tell him, hey, just a heads up, man. I got some buddies that were going to Orange Park who's got speed traps on the Buckman just to make him feel real, real small. And plus, there wouldn't have been a speed trap, so we'd have to slow down. That would have been bad. That was too much effort. I didn't care. It wasn't that big a deal. It was bad. It was poor. Oh, look what we have here. I like seeing this. Yeah. Get rid of this now, can't we? Yeah. I was kind of keeping up there for prosperity. All right, well, we'll keep it up there for prosperity, but, but 
Look at this one, ladies and gentlemen, that's huh? A, that's a one by Jeff. Can you read that? Yeah, the yeah. dime bet. That's a one dime by Jeff. bet, baby. That's a winner. NBA expert right here. I got the ticket. Dr. This Hoops. guy don't watch NBA, doesn't know a thing about it. Dr. Hoops over here. That's right. You that's a winner. It. And by the way, Friday, the Ice Bucket Challenge takes place. It goes down. Hickey will be doused. And we're also going to do it out. cold water. We're also going to do it out in the parking lot. So if any of you want to come by and watch. Yeah. I'll encourage it. I don't want to tell Dan this part of it so much, but I wouldn't like to get a big crowd out, yeah. you know, and yeah. maybe have some sort of riot, some mob, you know, a mob, of, at him a mob of some sort. So that's what's going on Friday. Tomorrow, uh, it's Thursday, Doc Murphy will be in. Uh, we had a good time today with Get Smart John, brunch with the tour. Uh, we'll be ready for tomorrow, and it's NFL Draft Day tomorrow, guys. It's finally Yes, here. that's fun. It'll be so, fun. Uh, by the time we're back Friday, we will have a new member of the team. We'll have a new Jaguar. Uh, unless the team trades out of the first round, which I think is unlikely. Some are starting to believe they may trade back a few slots. I don't know. I'm not really... Well, there's a narrative right now that this suddenly, the, the word is that this draft really, top flight prospects is like 12 deep. So yeah. if you do trade back, you want to make sure that you're in that 10. You don't go much further than 10 or 12. And I would, I'd go from 7 to 10 to get an extra second round pick. Right. Now what I've been seeing is a lot of people thinking that the, the thought process is there are several teams in the teens range that covet Ed Oliver. And if he gets to seven, they may be willing to wow. try and jump up and make a move. And if they, he gets to seven, the Jags may take him. Right. So, I don't know. Nice it's intriguing. It's an intriguing draft. They all are, but each year they seem to be even a little bit more intertwined than, than other years. So, I, by the way, the Friday song was never in, uh, Ashley said, she's just glad we get to keep the Friday song. I think some people misunderstood. Right. It's not the Friday not song the Friday to kick song. off the show. No. It's the song that you play the at 9 o'clock. Like Leo Sayer, you make me feel like and I don't. And I like the song, but Hick and Shrill singing for that one is beyond you. the productions. That is just nauseatingly, <laughs> ear-piercingly. It makes, that but, does, that does make me. Yeah, angry. the laws of the universe uh, held true, and we spun the wheel, and by the, uh, by the fates, Dan will get doused with ice water, and Leo lives. I'm going to keep some of those things up there. I want to, the wax, uh, the waxing, waxing his chest great. hair. I like. Uh, eating a fish stick is great. Yeah. He, uh, you know, I'll reveal this because this is what we do. We talk bad about each other behind their backs when we do after the drill. It's a tentative program. Some of us do. Uh, Dan did confess that really the one he wanted the least was the fish stick. Really? Yeah. That's it right there. Yes. Ashley, you got Dancing. it. Okay. Woo! Maybe you didn't know. He's okay with that. It's, but there's no. That's a shrill. I don't know how you. You guys shouldn't encourage him on that stuff. <laughs> that I mean, like seriously, it. that's not. That's that's not. Yeah. There's nothing creative or communicative or. It's just pure passion. There's nothing good about that. About his singing that song. Song. Hmm. It's art. I will leave you with the words of the immortal Caleb. What does that say? I can't read that. See, uh, that can't be a real name. Go man. Jags. Go Jags. All right. That's probably one of your spies. Maybe. Love you, Googans. See you tomorrow.